look here. After I touch you, I'm still looking at you. After I touch you, don't go out. Look at that lady there. After I touch her, I'm still looking at you now. After I touch you, come. The lady left. Where do you come from? I mean, where I stay. Where do you come from? Now, Beishli. Huh? Beishli. I stay in Beishli. After I touch you, you went back. And I'm praying for you for the whole family. Amen. So where is your boyfriend? Who is mine? Your boyfriend. Uh, I don't have. Huh? I don't have. Why? It's a long story. Cut it short. <laughs> yeah. Before I was born again, I was uh, I was a lesbian. So it's very, I would say. <laughs> no talk. When I touch you, go back. So here, yeah, there's a problem. It's very hard for me to look at men in that way. So that's why. So why you say you don't have, you don't say you are a lesbian? Why you don't say, Pastor, please pray for me, I'm a lesbian? <laughs> because this thing of being lesbian to you has not left you. That's why Yes, you, I know. Huh? I know. Yes, that's very true. When you look at the lady, you are, you are attracted. You are attracted to the lady. God loves you, eh? Yes. Huh? Don't, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. We are here. Everybody is here for his solution. Is it not true? Yes. Because can you see now, if I come to you and say, where's your boyfriend? I touch her, she turned back. And like going back there. So I said, oh, these are people like this. They just wanted to touch, but the problem is not addressed. This problem here, like now, many boys are trying to come to her, but she become angry. There's anger. Don't cry, eh? Don't cry, my girl. Don't cry. Don't cry. We need to stop this thing. You must check how you are created. And you must be proud of how you are created. It's nice to say, I'm a woman. Then when you're a woman, you say you're a man. You, you must be proud of what God did on you. I, I've seen many ladies who are very proud of, you know, a woman like me. Like myself, I can't say I'm a woman like me. I'm a man. I must be proud of myself. But it's a spirit, this thing, my girl. It's a spirit. Are you hearing me? I know. It's a, it's a spirit. Where is your mom? My mom is in Limpopo because... What is she saying about this thing that is happening to you? Okay. Because growing up, I was, yes, I was lesbian and then... She's a Christian, so she would pray about it until I started changing my, my clothes, and then she believed that it's gone. And but, but sometimes deep, I also deep, tell... Deep down, you know it's not gone. Yeah. Yes. You are just making your, your mom to understand <laughs> it's gone, and you wear like a lady. But deep down, you are very much attracted to ladies. <sighs> yes. That's well, very true, men of God. Because huh? it, that's very, very true. Because sometimes I, I still have the clothes that I used to have and these that thing that says where they're meant. <sighs> so that's very true. My mom, she, she, she thinks it's gone because of the way that I dress 
and how I look now compared to how I looked growing up. So, are you so not smoking? No, I've never smoked. You never smoked? And I've never drank. You never so drank? That one, no. So, the people you're attracting, they don't do that? Come here, come. Because I touch her, she tells me, I said, ah, go on to save her for a family. And then it's painful to find my boy now wearing a skirt. Ah. Your shape is telling you, your shape. Look how beautiful is the girl. Come to me. Look how beautiful. Even when she walk, she still want to walk like a soccer player. <laughs> I ask, why, why this thing has not been here in South Africa? Why we have to promote something like that? This thing is it's a story. This thing we're not there. I mean, this thing, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. This is a spirit. You must be proud that you're a what? A woman. Even whether you like it or not, you cannot change how you were, you were born. And be proud of that. Like yourself. You need to be proud of that. I know it's an attack. This thing it is... is steady. It is, because if... if if it was not for my mother's prayers and that I, I, my plans when I was growing up were very, because I think at the age of 25, I would be someone different. I planned that the day I have money, I'd have a beard, hormones, remove everything and just be a total man. Those were the plans that I had before I was born again. And then I started to encounter God more. But the attraction to women, you're right, it, 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 it's, it's very still, strong. It's very strong. I, I try to resist. To fight it. I, I pray, I, I fasted, um, but. God loves you, eh? Amen. Yeah, no one condemn you. God loves you. Amen. Uh, many people, they need deliverance. After deliverance, you know, this urge, it will go. Very soon you also meet the right person. Stop crying. She's crying. She's really crying because, you know, it's a shame to your parents. I mean, it's not only this one here. You can find there are many here. Can we just get, if you're around, also come out. And they don't say, I mean, you want to change. This is not Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Khaute. It's not Khaute. Is this Sodom and Gomorrah? Huh? We are Khaute here. It's not Sodom and Gomorrah. If you also you have got this problem, can you come out? Come out. You must not wait for us like something like that. It must not happen where you find that when we call you, you, you resist and you are heated by the Spirit of God. Can you just come out on your own? Can we bring the one who's falling down there? So, please, no one condemn you. And uh, it's an attack. People like you, we need to bring you close. Because you shame, come. You are also facing the same. Let them come. There are, there are, there are many. Some of you, it's possible you find that when you grew up, you, you were playing with ladies, you understand? And uh, you were only boy. Now you begin to behave like a lady. It ended up being like a lady. Let's get also brothers. Let's hear, it's happening to you the same. Huh? Yes, Papa. And, and what is happening to you? I have a man, and I have anger for her. I don't have a feelings. 
<laughs> you have got feelings for ladies. Uh, you can go there, sir. And uh, also, why do you have feelings when you're not married? That's another thing you must question. Why do you have feelings when you're not married? Because the moment when you say, I've got feelings for, for a man or a woman, ask yourself, are you married? Why? Now, when you realize that, I mean, what kind of feelings are they? Why don't you wait for someone to say, I want to marry you? All right, you have got feelings you are rejecting. You want, you want to marry that one, or you want to get married by... Now, you come out to say, you need deliverance. That's where you can say you need deliverance. So, I believe this thing will come to an end today, even to yourself, when we pray for you. Touch your stomach, in Jesus' name. This thing must leave you. Your mama has been praying, and God has answered her prayer, in Jesus' name. You are free. Say the name of Jesus.